Hello again. Sad music today. Because it's not sunny. Actually, it's rainy. It's so rainy. We have one, two, three, four, three umbrellas and a gazebo. Oh! Thank you. On cue, it has actually started properly raining now. Um, for the eagle eyed, you can observe my orange masking taping that I've done where we found drips inside the gazebo. Um, so we got a string party today. Very convenient. Could have had a brass quintet this time for the rain. Wouldn't have mattered so much. We've got some very precious string instruments precariously balanced under umbrellas for your entertainment and delight. Um, I'm killing time as I did before because waiting to see is anyone come online and Emma's being silent and weird. My wife Emma is online. Anyone there? She's also not very good at multitasking, so... Uh, you told me you had copied and pasted the right thing, but had you... No, you had not. I had. Anyone online? Four people. Four people! Hello, four people! That's great! Well, we have a party. It's the same number of people as... No, well, there's five in the garden. Oh, well. Our rabble of neighbours have sadly bailed on us as well, because it's raining. Thanks, guys. I hope you're watching online. Um, welcome back to the garden. Oh, it stopped raining with that tears to Picardy. It stopped again. Um, garden update this end. We got some neighbours coming? Yes. Uh, garden update this end. We still have a few kumquats. Oh, we can go to to about? have a kumquat. Um, and look, it's flowering. Can you talk about the heat wave and the effects and the one person who enjoyed the heat wave? The one person who did enjoy the heat wave is Madame Kumquat, who has done a, a massive growth spurt. Check her out. And she's flowering. And she still has some. I'm going to put a kumquat in my pocket for Trina. Poor Trina said yes to this yesterday, I think. Was it yesterday? She's never going to agree to do anything with me ever again. Um, I'll clean it under the tap for health and safety. And I will make her eat it. Um, Sasha and Amalia say hello. Hey guys. It's quite a small kumquat this time for Trina. Um, less organised potting area, but I have potted out my kale that have been ravaged by, um, what do they call caterpillar moths. Got some pansies that I put out earlier. Sprucing the place up for you guys. And next jam. Oh, we've got a delivery. Thank you very much. <laughs> Friend, you're live on the internet. We're doing a show. Thank you. It's a sound curtain. Oh, it's a sound That's curtain. It. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, next garden jam, we're going to harvest some potatoes. Get excited. You can actually see some coming up. I'll show you. It's, uh, if you dig, dig down there, but oh, you can't. You just touch your instrument. Some really fine. There was one mitos, just hiding mitos, somewhere. What's that um, fungus called? That's really good. That was on Microbial. a um, oh. mitochondrial. No. Mitoc no, that's no. The, that's the <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yet. I can't work under pressure. The baby's Anyone said what it is? Anyone Help me out, science name? friends. Science friends. Anyway, this spuds in there. I promise. Michael, right? Why can't I? There. there. Oh there. no, that's a peanut that peanut. the squirrel has buried. I definitely saw some earlier. We got five people online now. Deirdre, our favourite. Says Deirdre, our favourite. Yes, Deirdre's back. Can we um, talk about my uh, wisteria? My this dream content has always been to have a wisteria arch. Using Sugru, working no, on it. Nice Irish company makes like plasticine that goes permanently gluey. Sugru, not sponsoring Jesse's homemade garden jam. Um, shall we wor walk into the garden? Are we waiting for anybody? That's exciting, this delivery. Um, let's go say hi to some neighbours. Go say hi to some neighbours. Are they in the garden? <gasps> they are. Dedicated. Yes. They haven't got an umbrella because we've stolen it. Oh no! We've got an umbrella because we've stolen it.
wave, Dan. Oh. Such a loyal audience. Um, whilst the, the beautiful playing was happening, we were uh, bribing our youngest neighbour with some yellow raspberries from our raspberry bush. Um, it's time to introduce a beautiful musician. Emma's told me from the last time I have to not make her pan around so quick so you guys don't feel seasick. Um, we have on violin this time, not viola, Kenny Stevens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, silently lurking in the background, which you will hear until okay. later. Yeah. It's Trina Bill. <laughs> Yay! Hello. And Chris Terrapin on the cello. Hello. Yeah. Um, Chris, because I don't know anything about music that was not in written before the clarinet was invented, so <laughs> what are you guys playing? Um, these are some pieces by Thomas Morley who was a, um, I think, 16th century composer who was better known for madrigals and quite light pieces, but he wrote some lovely two-part consort pieces, which were for viols rather than for modern instruments that we're playing on, but they work on anything. And they're very lovely. Yeah. Shall we play, should I have one more? Mm. Yeah. So yeah. we're playing, this is a sort of a gamble concert. Um, it stopped raining right now, and I stopped killing time and just let you guys play so that we can try and get everything in before it buckets down rain again. That said, we're going to tune now for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Our poor lovely neighbours gave us all their umbrellas. So Chase. 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 Like <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually. Spots. <laughs> That's a spoiler. Same there should be a catch at the end of the chase, right? <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Well, I'm going to, yeah, do my best to chase Chris. <laughs> instrument gets all wet because I actually play into it. I've been put in the drift zone. So uh, look, we've only got one. That's all right. Um, garden update. Well, I put my clarinet together. Okay. And we want to take the take the floor. Tell you what I want. I like mean, everybody's really here for the garden, right? They're not actually here. For the <laughs> Who cares about the music? I take you on a little tour. They like to go. Luke said What's this growing? was like um, Jules Holland meets Monty Don, and I was very complimented <laughs> by that. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an apt description. Yeah. Um, so our new our new champion, who also enjoyed the heatwave, is uh, I've got, got it now. Jerusalem artichokes. Unlike your normal globe artichoke, they are uh, uh, what's it called a, a root. A tuber. A tuber. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Ironic. We should have saved this for the. We need you, Dicky. Um, so they kind of when they get flowers, they'll look like sunflowers, and then uh, and they, we got these on our honeymoon from the place that we stayed. A nice man. And then we snuck them back through customs, don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the cucumbers suffered a little in the heat wave, a lot of sunburn, but 
they're powering through. How long do you want me to? I could do this all day. So you just call me when you're. Uh, the tomatoes are still uh, champions, champion tomatoes, and apparently we'll be. Uh, I'll be uh, attempting to juggle those later. So stay tuned. What was your? Oh, do we have some new newbies you've planted, Jesse? Oh, we're beginning on our autumn winter veg. So, um, chard and spinach are in. Who else went in here, Jesse? Uh, put the beetroot in as well. Just this morning. And um, Jesse did a, a, I would say, a quite vicious hack back of the uh, courgettes before we uh, were away for a couple few weeks, but they are bouncing back. It's a strong content, Emma. Right, uh, Alex King wants to know what variety of tomatoes. Oh, hello, you Alex You planted King. them, so uh, the first variety of tomato is called Brooke from next door gave us some, <laughs> <laughs> and this variety over here is my sister-in-law gave me a present of the real seed company tomatoes uh, so but I can actually reply after this is live I can reply with the exact name and then the and final tomatoes the tomato which I have to find which are called Jesse panicked and thought we didn't have enough tomatoes so went to B&Q and got these giant ones which are like uh, are they called mozzarella or buffalo? buffalo well, but mozzarella is what you put with them <laughs> they have to live mozzarella but you're not vegan <laughs> buffalo it's a buffalo tomatoes beef? or beef tomatoes Oof. it's buffalo mozzarella and oh, beef yeah, tomatoes yeah, I know. that's it that's stop it. talking about cheese um <laughs> Okay, we're going to play some uh, Beethoven now, Chris and I, and Deirdre, I'm sorry, I'm cheating on you because I definitely played this with you before. Um, this is the first of Beethoven's super, 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 super early duo. This sounds more like Mozart or Playel. You voted him better than Playel, but less, <laughs> not as good as Mozart. Something like that. So we'll leave you guys to decide if that's, if, if that's true. Um, do you know what? For the time and the rain, let's not do that first repeat, yeah. shall we? Okay, or or Trina. Why do the strings go mental when it's w wa rainy or wet? Wait, waning. W waning. Waning. Oh. What is it? Is this a temperature humidity thing? They're very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> they just get. I don't understand. I just push it in or pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but the heat affects you too, right? Yeah, it's similar. Heat yeah, and humidity just expansion affects. Expansion it's just the yeah. material. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. Okay, here's a <laughs> Beethoven <laughs> deal. <laughs> Thank you. 
never wants to come closer, we see the real perils of playing outside <laughs> with an iPad oh. under a drip. My <laughs> iPad is drenched. Oh no. Very nice. Um, I think it's time for a small game. Oh we still got people online, Em. People still watching. People, tell us if you want a game. Yeah, let us know if we're going to do a game. Because, um, so this, I'll give you a little bit of uh, backstory about this particular concert. I came back from my holidays and thought, I don't want to not be on holidays. I'm going to do something. So very, very, very last minute, I put through this together. Trina, who is regretting it now, only agreed, <laughs> what, yesterday, basically? <laughs> the face I, of regret. I regret. Yeah, regret. <laughs> regret. Shame. Um, <laughs> Trina, right, here's, right, how do you know someone is a vegan? They tell you. How do you know someone's from Cork in Ireland? They tell you. you. They I'm from Cork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I thought, because the sort of strength of our musicality just isn't really strong enough. No, it is. Um, I thought some gimmicks were in order. Because, you know, who doesn't like a gimmick? So Kate Hansworth is ready for a, a game and a gimmick. Kate is on board. So, Kate, I got some corks. Because Trina's from Cork. Get it, guys? Corks. I think we should ask Quinn to pick the corks out. So on each cork I've got a letter which actually, Dan, do you want to join in? Oh my word, this is a full on jam, it's happening, sorry. It's neighbour selects. Okay. <laughs> the game can be so, uh, Deirdre <laughs> knows this very well. Deirdre and I do workshops with Symphony Viva and I've got quite a collection of ridiculous instruments, like the saxophone. Whoever gets to play this, I'm not telling you how it works, you got to figure it out. Uh, got saxophone, got a ukulele, got all sorts in here. And on my corks, I've got a letter that's going to coincide with the instrument. So Quinn is going to be the conductress. Ooh. And who's this one for? This is I for like Trina, obviously. Okay. The first one. So Quinn, can you pick a cork? Oh, also, sorry, if my sister's watching, thank you, Clara, for this beautiful ceramic <laughs> thing. <laughs> and the black <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's got a blackberry. Can you pick a cork? <laughs> Take one out. <laughs> don't don't eat it. Pick one. Can pick you get one? one. Choose one. Are you getting scared? Go on. Pick one. It's a really strong squat from Brooke there. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. You choose one for Jesse. <laughs> That's it. And then yeah. give it to Jesse. Oh, okay. Give it to Jesse. So what letter does it have on it? <gasps> letter K. A K. K to K. You've got off really lightly. Have I? It's a K for Cas Cas. Oh. <laughs> the relief. Oh yes. Yeah, it wasn't a saxophone. <laughs> you got right. So happy so this with is your that. instrument. Oh, Thank because so it takes <laughs> well done, <laughs> because it takes ages for the comments to come through. We want to ask you now. We want you to decide what we're going to play. So tell us a tune, something you want us to want to hear us play. Something Attempt easy. to play something that we'll hopefully know. Like probably not something that's currently in the charts. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, we can try. Beyonce, we can now. Okay, one more. Okay, go, 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 go. This is for K. Yeah. And it's going to be, oh, okay, you're in for an absolute treat. It's W for whistles. Oh, now, yes. these have all been pre, uh, pre-disinfected. Thank you. So I'm going to give you a, a strong selection that you can choose from. Oh, I'd play them all, I would say. Oh, wow. So we have a train whistle. Would you like to demonstrate? Just blow on the circular part. <laughs> Just blow into it. Yep. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh <my> God. <laughs> the delight of her face. <laughs> right, you also have this one, so you've got on and off, that's all there is. Okay. So strong. She and, have and a swanny whistle. No, she's gonna oh, have I all three. Oh, oh right. and this is a pooey pooey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> strong, strong. Okay, great. Quinn, get oh one more. God. This one is for Chris. What's it say on it? Oh, it does have a letter A, but it's written under. <gasps> Oh no. It's the saxophone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Quinn. Here you go. Oh so, how uh, do you think it even works? I don't even know how normal saxophone works. <laughs> well, you, I think that's it actually an no advantage. <laughs> so you blow in the white bit. Daddy, yeah, Daddy you definitely. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a blow. <laughs> He's a natural. <laughs> you can play chords. Ah, you can play chords on a saxophone. It's a ridiculous scale. <laughs> so. I'll let you just wow. pl play away with that. You can practise. And Jesse? Okay. Oh, uh, I think oh, I'm going to get everyone to play. Oh. And you need to figure out how to write somebody else. What we got? X for xylophone. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment all my life. It is a scale. C, uh, it's a. It's not quite a full scale, but we'll we'll do fine. <laughs> if we're in C major, we'll be okay. Um, that's my. This one. We've already had the W. Okay. Okay. You going to play? 
Yes, go on, Jen. <laughs> well, if you want to bring your trumpet out, all through lockdown we did the clap for the for um, the NHS. Uh, Jen had this knackered trumpet that used to just go <laughs> into it. And it, I think it's my favourite sound um, in the universe. Jessica, can we do a pause? Uh, we had a slight internet connection. First of all, our most special guest is now watching back from his very last day of nursery. <gasps> Hi Felix! <laughs> His very last day of nursery, because soon Felix is starting big school. Whoa, that is pretty big deal. Um, and just recap very quickly the game that we're playing. Oh, so we're playing a Super game um, where we pick a cork out and it has a letter on it that says what the instrument is. We're all playing random instruments. So we've got so, quite like uh, Also, did we want to do an update on what these are? Cast, cast. Cast, cast. Is that how I do them? Just do that? I mean, yeah. Does so yes. um, <laughs> Quinn want to play our game? So you pick a cork. What have we got? What does the letter T. say? T. T for. Oh, where, what is it? Tambourine! Oh, oh yeah. perfect! Yes. There we go. <laughs> Mummy, do you want to play too? <laughs> sure. Oh, we're, we're coming. You know, Close I have absolutely around. no musical <laughs> skills. Whatsoever. You know what? I'm going to give you. I'm not even going to let you pick. Okay. Deirdre, you remember this? This is the greatest instrument that was Happy ever made. I bought it in France from a street Shit. vendor. On our honeymoon you as well. You blow very hard into the that uh, hole and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so have we got any suggestions for Pete? Dennis yeah, oh, Dennis right. All right, this is his ukulele. We do vendor. actually have a great <laughs> suggestion <laughs> from I know, Deirdre. Johnny, I assume because you have no hands. You're okay. Well. We've got a suggestion from Deirdre. Uh, Deirdre would like you to attempt a rendition of Singing in the Rain. <laughs> okay. I'm going to back up so I can... Uh, oh, Okay. Um, I think we should have some rain sounds. Shake, 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 Flat. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have all the accidentals. How are you feeling with your cast cast, Tina? I, I, I'm going with right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with him. <laughs> 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 Just not good. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna stick with that. Doesn't have enough notes on it. Very well, guys. Uh, well, welcome to. Uh, should we wrap it up? Thank you. We'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Not on your back. That has been my that musical was. COVID. Highlight. That's the highlight of the year, I think. Mm. Oh, we didn't miss the end. <laughs> 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 um, that was Did you just wondering if anyone knows any train songs? But I was struggling to think of a, uh, a train-based yeah. song. <laughs> Sorry. What's that no, I just, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what came um, over me there. That was fabulous. I think because of um, the weather, we should actually just keep going with our real music, shall we? Uh, so I'll hey. gather up my instruments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was one of the greatest uh, things I've ever done. <laughs> Thank you, Deirdre, for singing in the rain. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, so we're going to play a trio by Hans Gal. Um, anyone heard of Hans Gal before? Ask the question while I get my clarinet out. I'm sure Brooke has. You've heard of the, the composer Hans Gal, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got his book. You've got his book? He actually wrote quite a few books. Well, here's my, 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 my pop question. Hans Gall, Austrian man, was a founder of which very famous international festival? Get your thinking caps on, lads. No Googling. No Googling. Oh, they are all on the internet. Okay, Cheating. <laughs> Anybody got any? Felix hasn't heard of Hans Felix Gall. hasn't heard of Hans Gall. To be fair, neither had I. And also, as a disclaimer while I'm putting this together, because I put this concert um, together so quickly, and our instrumentation is rather um, unusual. Um, my usual goal of always programming a woman and a person of colour 
It was very difficult in the short time. So I have to ha put my hands up and admit we are playing all white men today. And I'm not delighted with it. But we are playing a guy who was pretty persecuted, so we'll give him a give him a, a pass for that. Hans Gahl was an Austrian uh, guy, a uh, Jewish guy, who was um, persecuted terribly by Mr. Hitler. Um, very bad man. Felix knows all about him from the war, right? And he was very, very, very successful. And then suddenly all of his music was banned, not allowed. But he was taken over, well, he escaped over to Britain. And Sir Donald Tovey, any of you musicians will know who he is, brought him up to Edinburgh and he started the... Anybody guess what festival he founded? Oh, it's raining literally on me. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, yeah. um, anyone guess our festival? Okay. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. Cheats. It wasn't Fire Festival. Give you a clue, it's the best festival. It wasn't Glastonbury. It's the Edinburgh International Festival. Oh, Top fact, the more you know. Um, so we're gonna play some now. It's a little bit um, slightly sad music, which is um, probably appropriate. Felix, this is for you, for your last day of nursery. Because it's a bit sad. Kate also Hensworth did actually guess correctly. She was just slightly delayed in typing. Oh, so top marks, Kate. Probably all that a morphine cucumber on. coming to you. Kate <laughs> Hensworth <laughs> is in the hospital having had major hip surgery. So I'm just happy that you're here. Fair play. But also getting your trivia correct. Oh, let's just check yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my hands are frozen. The last piece is going to be fun. Yeah. Okay.
commenting what? on your broken fence. That would love <laughs> 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 it's good to have some commentary going. I love it. I love it. Um, also, excellent other bit of trivia about Hans Gal. His most popular opera, premiered by George Sell, big guy, famous guy, was called The Holy Duck. <laughs> That's like a piece for Wexford Opera, isn't it? The Holy Duck, taken up the next season by six different opera houses. So it was. A, it was a, I don't. I don't know it, but check out Hans Gall's The Holy Duck. We've been joined by the one and only Emma Fitzmaurice. Kind of Emma Fitzmaurice, it's my sister-in-law, kind of. Oh yes. And um, before we do our last piece, Trina can warm up her fingers with a uh, happy birthday that we're going to play for a few people. So, uh, first of all, Trina and I's Irish friend, Kat Lightfoot, Kat O'Hara, um, her son, <laughs> DJ, Dara, is six to the, today? Uh, oh, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time last year we were doing, we were pretending to be tattoo artists at his giant fifth birthday party. So we thought we'd play happy birthday for Dara, but also, someone who's not six is Emma's nan. She's probably... 10 at least yeah at least 24 yeah um so happy birthday to uh emma's nan and dara so. and also chris chris faulkner chris faulkner thank you I forgot his second name chris <laughs> sorry uh, his birthday is today yes um great kaylee caller i would recommend if you need any kayleys guys get on down to chris faulkner town um <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna, okay my question while i kill some more time <laughs> is what style should we do our happy birthday tune for oh, yeah that's what we meant to ask at the beginning and I while i do that days. So would what you? style would you like it in? Give people examples, you know, so they understand uh, what we mean. We've previously, Kay and I have done a Schoenberg Pierre Lunaire style happy birthday. <laughs> oh. Um, but we, yeah. we're very versatile. Um, so whatever style you like, like classical. I don't know. <laughs> we haven't practiced this, guys, so it could be really rubbish. Probably going to sound the same no matter what you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be as specific as possible. Um, uh, would you guys like to explain your lockdown project? while we're waiting for a suggestion which oh yeah oh chris and i have been playing together remotely for most of lockdown actually mm, yeah. um we've put together a recording service so anyone who needs strings um any number of strings um for your pop song for, for your, your yeah yeah lots of lots of k and chris's can, can play for you they can um, clone themselves what musically what and what, yeah. should people, what should people search to find we it we're called phonograph effect and you can find us on the Googles we and Facebook and stuff, other things, on Instagram. The, inter the tree yeah. is part of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So if anyone needs an orchestra, please book <laughs> them and get them some work. <laughs> <laughs> you can find the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra usually in the Albert Hall. Mm. Is there anything going on for the RPO? They're going to be greatly indebted to this show for giving them a plug there. Yeah, it's going to be a ton of work. It's going to be a lot for them. Right? Yes. their profile yeah. up. Okay, well, we have a suggestion <laughs> and one more birthday. Uh, oh, no, Did we say it's Eric Coates' birthday? Eric Coates! Happy birthday, Eric Coates! Oh. And uh, Amalia and Sasha would like happy birthday in a jazz style. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> 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 Luckily, no. we've chosen four of the coolest people that yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. So four of the jazziest. This people. is going to be smooth. I hope Callum's watching. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to play Happy Birthday and someone else can be jazzy around me. <laughs> what key are we in? G. <laughs> jazz improvisation you know who to call <laughs> um, before it absolutely thunders with rain we're going to play our final piece which is uh, Bernard Bernard what a good name good name for a father eh right dad Bernard Grimes hopefully he's watching um, this is Bernard Crissell Finnish composer who wrote this about uh, 10 years after Mozart's clarinet concerto so he was a big, big deal. He was paid the most in the Swedish court opera. He was the most paid, best paid, highest paid musician. Now it's the Timp and the leader, right? Yeah. 
I don't know, not a clarinet or a viola anyway. Um, but he was obviously such a big deal. I imagine he had a super fancy wig and like wore his collar up. Is that a thing in the 1800s? Oh, collar up. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was super cool. He played like in the day, he played Mozart and Beethoven's music and he studied clarinet nerds. He studied with Lefebvre in Paris. What? So cool. He's clearly not the humblest of men uh, because he's mostly a show off piece. Even this one, which is like his most sort of uh, simple um, of his quartets. Check them out, they're actually quite nice. Um, he does a lot of showing off and my fingers are so cold. Just wish me luck, is all I'm gonna say. Um, and it starts with a beautiful string trio. So we get to hear this cracking ensemble on their own. Trina is completely frozen <laughs> into an ice block and she'll never ever do anything else for ever again. Oh, this is his first quartet in E flat. And I'm going to say no first repeat again because it's so cold and rainy. Yes. <laughs> um, thank you guys for. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't say. I, I plugged it out loads last time. Emma's been sending on the chat. But uh, if you go to paypal.me forward slash Jesse Grimes and donate the price of a pint or a cup of coffee or like a Rolls Royce whatever you have to donate <laughs> and hopefully uh, because I think I have a really really feel strongly about this we're getting increasingly asked to play for free right in these mad times it's super depressing it might just be like two quid that I can give these guys but um, it all depends on you right please please donate and any profits that we make will go to help musicians which will stay on my just giving page from the last concert we've already raised over 500 quid so please give a tiny bit I know you're all like my loyal fans eventually you're going to be like we can't pay pay for your everything but just you know a little bit if you can paypal.me forward slash jesse grimes um the price of a rolls royce is about right am i right <laughs> yeah particularly just consider the the damage to these instruments in the rain <laughs> yeah. okay
Insistent. Doody has been insistent. Can I say thank you very much to okay, Trina Mill, patiently sitting for most of it, <laughs> saying beautifully on the viola, and Chris Terrapin on the cello. And I'm going to take the reins for a moment. I get to see what everyone's like slagging us. It's Emma Murphy. She's going for a haircut tomorrow, guys. Don't worry. Um, yeah, and she's going to do some tomato juggling now. Um, we can go and pick some tomatoes. Um, Okay. Thanks, Jan. Jan said that was lovely. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mum. Yay. <laughs> Rory Dempsey. Thanks, Rory. He's thanks, not even Sasha. someone's relative. That's I know. Rory's not even someone's relative. Or a student's parent. Thank you, Rory Dempsey. He is a man from Cork, though. Oh. You're not. Rory's <laughs> Wait, a, Oh, no, he's, he's from Cork. Oh. Woman from Cork. Woman. <laughs> I'm, uh, oh, dear. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to be pedantic. I'll just cancel that. <laughs> we'll cut that in post. <laughs> okay, so to um, finish, it has been a hard three years since oh, last job. Oh, our, um, cover your expensive uh, instruments because it's. Uh, Alyssa <laughs> says pressure. So you finished um, by being pelted with. Uh, yeah, tomatoes. I would just do the really couple of it. Like, More people have logged in now than ever, so here okay, we go. Ready. ready. We should have been playing. You have to play the tune, it really helps. Could you guys play the circus tune? It's quite hard. It's really difficult. Well, this show is juggling off! Hey! Thank you very much. Shall I end with a Thank you to our loyal, soaked neighbours for coming in. All you guys who bailed, we know where you live because you're also neighbours. So thank you very much. I'm going to press finish on this now. Catching your mouth. Whoa! Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Bye!